Let's have a look at this blob that was looking a bit different. So let's have a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Let's have a spectrum on just the blob itself. I have to say this is probably one of the happiest scientific days of my life I, with the proviso that we hadn't put pure carbon into the reactor. But given the fact that this was processed for just two minutes and the reaction products are in the ratio of George Oshawa, it's uh, very interesting. What have we got here? Uh, it is. Well, the potassium could come from the wood, mm -hmm. although that's a lot of potassium. It's a very large lump of potassium, but it could come from the wood. But mm -hmm. silicon, aluminium, iron, sodium, magnesium, calcium. It's a big lump. It's a big lump. How big is it? What it is this it's, it's about a millimeter. No, half a millimeter, right? 500 microns. It's more than that, isn't it? Yeah, it's more than 500 microns. So there's the scale, one uh, millimeter. So from this six or 700 point. microns. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a big lump of whatever it is. But like I say, you can, I mean, potassium was first isolated from wood. But in this case, um, so it really comes down to having the pure carbon in there and seeing what that does. But uh, today uh, does bode well um, for uh, a live proof of the George Oshawa cycle.